you probably know how to make text wrap around another object, which is sometimes called text runaround. You just select the object that you want the text to run around, then go to the window menu and choose text wrap. Here inside the text wrap panel, all you do is click this second button, and that changes the text wrap so that it wraps around the object itself. Now, if the text is too close to the image, all you need to do is change these fields down here. Now, if I only want to change the text on the left or right side, for example, I need to make sure that this little button in the middle is unlinked. When it's turned on, or linked, then all of the fields work together. If you change one, it changes all of them. But if I click again, you can see now it's unlinked. So I could come over here and change just the left side to, say, 10 picas. That forces all the text to the right side of the image. There are easier ways to do that. For example, down here I could have changed the Wrap To pop-up menu to just right side. That way all the text would always go on just the right side of this image. But what if I want the text to be not on the left or the right, but just on the top and the bottom? I want it to be blank on the left and right. This is often really helpful in books or journals. And there are a few ways to do this. For example, you could change this so the text wrap on the left and right are really large. Or I could come over here and just make the frame wider. But you know, that's not really foolproof, and it's definitely not a best practice. So I'm going to undo that with Command Z or Control Z on Windows a couple of times, and instead I want to point out that there are other buttons up here at the top of the text wrap panel. For example, this fourth button is the Jump Object button and that makes the text jump right over the object, so that there's no text on the left or right. This fifth button does the same, but it forces the text into the next column or frame. It's like saying there's no text on the left, right, or bottom of this image. Now I'll go back to the fourth button here. So this is great, but don't stop there. Once you apply some formatting like this, like with a text wrap and a stroke and whatever, then you can and probably should make it into an object style. Get into the habit of making object styles to format and update your page objects quickly. So here, I'll just make sure this is selected on my page. Then I'll open my object styles panel, which I can find by going to the window menu, then style submenu, and then choose object styles. Now, to make my new object style, I simply hold down the Option or Alt key when I click this little New Object Style button down here. The Option or Alt key forces InDesign to open up the dialog box. Now I just give it a name, like Text Wrap Image. I also want to make sure the Apply Style to Selection checkbox is turned on down here. That way, when I click OK, the object style is applied to that frame. Now, over here, I want the same formatting, right? So all I need to do is click the object style inside my object styles panel, and boom, it's done. So now you know how to apply a text wrap that forces text to jump over any object. Well, that's it for this episode of InDesign Secrets. Be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com for thousands of InDesign articles and tutorials, and sign up to receive our free weekly InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.